Don't ever let anyone tell you that you are useless. Don't ever let anyone tell you that you don't have a chance to earn the mercy of Allah or you're too far away from the Almighty. Because that statement affects and impacts people negatively. And it's not true at all. So while I'm so excited to be here in your midst in the beautiful city of Brisbane, I decided to start with this beautiful piece of advice to myself and then to yourselves. Every one of us deserves to grow in a positive way, be it connected to the worldly life or your connection with the Almighty that will help you in the hereafter as well. You deserve to grow and there will be growth and there shall be growth. I was a baby at one stage and so were you. And when we were little, if anyone were to tell us, you're never going to grow. In what way? If anyone were to tell us, you're not going to be two years old or three years or four years old. Do you know what? Time will defy that statement by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have today been given the age where we're seated here by the will of Allah. Yet there was a time when we were helplessly with our parents or guardians. In the same way, the growth belongs to Allah. We are facing challenges upon challenges across the globe. To be a Muslim is not so easy. To be a woman who is a Muslim is not so easy. People say, speak about women. I say, leave them alone. May Allah Almighty grant us ease. They hear from the left, they hear from the right, and then they are somewhere in the middle. We have challenges even as men, where people begin to pick on us and our beliefs. So it becomes so difficult to live as an individual that I would like to live and like to be. But I need to keep going. I need to have the principles. I need to understand or try and understand part of the plan of the Almighty because his entire plan may never be understood by you and I. There is a portion of it that would require you to surrender and believe. I believe in the mercy of Allah. I may be going through the most toughest of days today and you might be going through the toughest of days today. You might have heard bad news early morning or in the recent weeks. But I tell you, it does not mean that's going to last because it never lasts. Negativity does not last. It will not last. I may have gone through or be going through right now a time unlike any time in my life so far. But I have hope because I'm a believer. I am convinced. I'm convinced that in the same way daybreak follows the darkest hour of the night, the darkest time of my life shall be followed by the brightest light of that daybreak. Be convinced. How many of us have been through days where we really thought we were not going to make it? How many of us have been through times when we felt perhaps we won't find a job or we won't get something suitable or we won't be married and today we're seated here with children. May Allah bless you and your children. There may be from amongst us those who don't have those children. Trust me when I say the Almighty chooses and tailor makes your gifts designed for you knowing what is better for you holistically. So if you don't have one thing, you have to have 10 other things that others don't have.